Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for time. Today, I would like to continue on our previous discussion. The topic will be on decibel. This video, I'm going to show you three different examples how to convert number from ratio to decibel or from decibel to ratio. So this is our objective for this video. In this video, okay, like what I shared with you earlier on, I'm going to have three examples, how to convert from ratio to dBW, ratio to dBB, ratio to dBm. I'm also going to show you the reverse process. For example, how to convert dBW to a ratio number, same as dBV to a ratio, and last but not least, dBm to a ratio number. This will be the part two series discussion. The earlier on series discussion, part one on decibel, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you're keen to know more about decibel. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much. This is what I have shared with you based on the previous video. Okay, I have made this all in one page in order to fully understand what we're going to discuss on the next example. Okay, for example, when we talk about decibel, there are actually two forms. One will be power, another one will be voltage. So for these slides here, let's concentrate on power first. For power-wise, okay, we can actually convert the ratio to dBW or ratio to dBm okay, based on our need. So what is the difference between dBW and dBm? Okay, from here, you can see that dBW is actually an absolute power level of a signal reference to a power level of 1 1, okay, which means that we're going to compare a power against 1 1. So this is the equation okay, that we need to use if we are required to convert from ratio to dBW. We just put whatever number in ratio over here. Okay, we punch the calculator over here. We should be able to get the power in dBW. So what does this equation tell you? Okay, firstly, I will just say that it will give you a very clear distinguish whether the power is more than 1 watt or less than 1 watt. If this power okay, is more than 1 watt, okay, this dBW will be a positive number. If this P1W is less than 1 watt, then this P1 in terms of dBW will be a negative number. So from here, Basically, by looking whether the dBW is positive, okay, I know that it will be more than 1 Watt. If it's negative, I know that this P1W will be less than 1 Watt. So the key purpose of decibel is to give a very clear, simple comparison between two terms here. Same wise for this dBm. Okay, so for dBm, instead of comparing against 1 Watt, as you can see from here, I'm actually compare against one mini watt. This dBm is mostly used to compare against a smaller power as compared to dBW. So this is the set of equation that will be required if I want to convert from ratio to dBm. I have also streamlined the equation into this form. Okay, so instead of divide by one mini watt, we can convert the power into mini watt and punch the calculator. And after that, whatever will be the answer will be the P1 in dBm here. Likewise, I have also proved on the previous video how to convert from dBW to ratio. So this is the equation to use when you need to convert dBW to ratio. Whatever number that is given to you in dBW, you just plug it here. Okay, you punch the calculator, you will be able to obtain the power in terms of ratio. Same as dBm to ratio, they are exactly the same, okay, except this one mini one. So this one mini one is actually for mainly for dBm. 
Next, let's quickly do the example. Okay, the first example, the power of a signal is one watt. Okay, so I'm given the power of signal is one watt, which means that this one watt is a ratio. Okay, find the power in dBm and dBw. Okay, so I'm tasked to convert from ratio to dBm, ratio to dBw. dBm, okay, I'm show this on your left, dBw, which is on your right. Okay, let's quickly understand this question. Okay, so this part here, okay, I need to convert my one watt to mini watt. So one watt is actually equals to 1000 mini watt. So this is how I obtain this 1000. And thereafter, I just punched my calculator. Okay, I should be able to arrive at this 30 dBm. So in short, one watt is actually equals to 30 dBm. Next, let's take a look on this dBw. Okay, for dBw, it's much more straightforward. Okay, so I just need to enter the one watt here. So I punch my calculator. Okay, I actually get this zero dBw. Okay, so which means that one watt in ratio is equal to 30 dBm or zero dBw, or we can also call zero dB. Okay, like I have explained on my previous video, nothing changed on the number. It will be still the same number, one watt. I actually just express them in different form, whether is it in dBm or dBw. Next example. Okay, so this is also a quick table which I've done it for you to understand better. So for example, whether is it mini watt or watt over here. So for example, 10 watt is actually equal to 10 dBw. 10 mini watt, which is equal to 10 dBm here. So when the reference is one, which means one watt, Okay, when it's one watt, I'm actually having zero dBw. When I actually have one mini watt, I actually having a zero dBm here. Vice versa. So from here you can see that. Okay, so the key difference between watt and mini watt. Okay, basically they are exactly the same. Okay, but I just express watt into dBw and mini watt into dBm. That's all. Okay, let's quickly do the example two. Okay, for example two, the power of a signal is 15 dBm. Okay, find the power in what? Okay, for this case here, I'm given a power in dBm and I'm tasked to find the power in ratio. How can I do this? Okay, so this is the equation that I have shown it to you earlier on. Okay, so this is the equation for dBm. Okay, if you take a close look here. So first thing, what should I do? Okay, I need to remove away this 10. So what I need to do is I divide by both sides by 10. Okay, so basically, sorry, I this is what I mean. Both sides I divide by 10. Okay, so but firstly, this dBm, okay, this is 15 dBm, 10 log P mini watt here. Okay, so first thing like I told you, I need to remove away this 10. So I divide by 10 here and divide by 10, this 10 missing. Next, I need to, to do an anti log. Okay, I do an anti log here. So this will be my power in mini watt which I can obtain, which is 31.6 mini watt. Okay, but the question asks in terms of what, so I need to do one more step. Okay, I just move one, two, three. So therefore I have this 0 0.0316 watt. Okay, so this is how we can come from the angle from converting from dBm to ratio. So I just need, in fact, if you know well, okay, I just need this equation Okay, I can actually compute everything. Okay, like what I mentioned, if you are not sure, okay, you can just follow this sequence in order to be very safe to achieve the desired answer. Next on example three, okay, before I touch on example three, okay, let's focus on voltage decibel. Okay, so I, I have mentioned earlier on, in terms of decibel, I can have power or voltage. So for these slides here, I'm going to concentrate on voltage. The difference between power and voltage is, if you take a look over here, this is 20, okay, for power is 10. Same as this V1, in terms of dB mini volt here. Instead of 10, okay, for voltage is actually with respect to 20. Everything is exactly the same. So this is the formula to use if I need to convert okay, from ratio to dBb. This will be the equation that I need to convert from ratio to dBm. 
As for over here, okay, I basically convert from DBV to ratio. Same over here, this is for DBM convert to ratio. So these are the four sets of equation that you need to use in order to convert from ratio to DBV or DBM or from DBV or DBM to ratio. Okay, so let's do an example in order to understand this. Example three, okay, the voltage of a signal is 120 20 dBV. Okay, find the voltage in voltage. So this is the equation. Okay, so again from here, I know that this is 120. So I substitute 120 here. So this is the equation. First thing I need to remove away this 20. So I divide by both sides 20. So this 20 disappeared. So next, I need to do an anti log over here. So I do an anti log on this number. And from here, I compute that my voltage is equal to 1 times 10 to the power 6 volt. Okay, so this is the procedure how to convert from dBV to ratio. Okay, with this, I'd like to stop my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.